Hello friends and welcome to BISP Solutions. My name is Ankita and today we are going to continue with the custom financial planning application today as well and in custom financial planning we are going to learn enable sandboxes. So we will first understand what sandboxes is. So in the image in the given image, we can see that uh, there is a sandbox and the individuals are working in their personal spaces. So with this, uh, with the, uh, so with the help of this image, we can say that sandbo uh, sandbox enable users to keep their workspace private as they develop their plans. Users may want to privately experiment with various outcomes in a sandbox without having others seeing their numbers until they have completed their analysis. So uh, when they are ready with their numbers to publish it we, uh, for the public, they can publish it in the sandbox. So uh, we can enable sandboxes uh, while creating the application and uh, while creating the custom block storage queue. So we will go to the console here. Okay, so in console, I will click on application and then on overview. In overview, I will click on queue. Then I will click on create. Here I can name the queue and I will select the type here as block storage option. As in when we select here block storage option, uh, we, we, we can view that here we are getting enable sandboxes option and uh, from here we can uh, click, uh, we can select the enable sandboxes as well. Okay, so this is, uh, these are the two methods how we uh, enable the sandboxes in the application. Then uh, comes the HSP view dimension. So uh, when the cube is enabled for sandboxes, HSP view dimension is created automatically. And uh, the HSP view dimension have three members. First is uh, base data, sandbox data, and consolidated data. So first is the base data. Base data member define the uh, data inter, inter, intersection when uh, users are working in non-sandbox view or we can call it as base view in a form. Then comes the sandbox data. In sandbox, uh, sandbox data member stores the data when the users work in a sandbox. Then the last one is the consolidated data. So consolidated data uh, retrieve data from the sandbox member when it is available. Otherwise, it retrieves data from the base data member. This member is dynamically calculated. The important information about the HSP view dimension is that this uh, dimension cannot be altered and members should not be reordered. Then we will see how we can enable sandboxes for version member. So sandboxes member is automatically created in the version dimension when we enable it. So in the given second uh, image, we can see that uh, in the red box sandboxes is mentioned. So here we can see that a member name sandboxes will be visible to us in version dimension. Then now I want to enable a sandbox in a working member, for example. So I click on the edit after selecting the working member. Then I will enable sandboxes and refresh the database. So in the first image, we can see the option of enable sandboxes and I will click on the box. Uh, with that, I will enable the sa uh, sandbox in the working member. After that, as I told, we will refresh the database. After that, we will find new member 
name sandboxes working as given in our second uh, as it is given in our second image okay so we can see that sandboxes underscore working is enabled in the sandboxes then uh, when a sandbox is created a new member will be added as a child like for example here i have added case one so uh, data is stored at the intersection of the user sandbox and the hsp view member sandbox then we will see how we can enable sandboxes uh, in a three easy steps so a uh, while in the data form we need to click on the plus icon as we can see in the data form uh, at the corner then uh, to create a new sandbox then we will name the sandbox and then i will click on create so the sand uh, so the sandbox will appear as a new tab next to the original tab so there i will enter the data in the sandbox and view the impact on the other accounts or forms then i will go to action from action i will go to sandbox and in sandbox i will publish the data so the data will be visible to us in the base data so for that i will take you to a form So in navigator, I will go to data. So here we have headcount salary forecast data form. Okay. So uh, here we can see that uh, uh, at the rightmost corner, we have create sandbox option. So from here, I can create a sandbox. Okay. So uh, now we will move to the manage sandboxes. So the PVCA system administrator can manage all the sandboxes that were created by all the users and can see the following informations. First, data in all the sandboxes are visible to the administrator. Which version member the sandbox is based on? Who created each sandboxes? when the sandboxes were last modified and the administrator can even delete anyone's sandboxes as well so how we can go to manage sandbox in the overview we will click on action then we will go to manage sandboxes so before uh, moving forward to manage sandbox we will first go to the data form so here i have a username Ankita, so I will go to navigator and then in the data form. So here we have a form name headcount underscore salary forecast. Okay, I will go to its uh, form designer. So the first important thing uh, while designing the form is that we need to keep the version on, on the page so when we keep the uh, version dimension on page then only the this plus sign will be visible on the data form here on the rightmost corner okay so we can do one more thing if we remove this to the POV version dimension uh, to the POV and here I will name it as what if. After saving the changes that I have made, here the form is visible to us. So as we can see here, that there is no plus sign anymore. So always keep in mind when we need to work on uh, the 
sandboxes, we need to keep our version dimension on page. Okay, so now for example here, I'm going to give the value to the head count. So the head count is five in numbers and the basic salary is 10,000. The work, uh, workers compensation, uh, first important thing is that I will need create a sandbox first over here. Uh, sorry, I missed a mistake here. So I will save it. And then I will click on create sandbox. So here I'm naming it as salary sample. Now I will click on create. So here we have a sandbox named salary sample here. So I'm going to give the value into it. The basic salary will be 10,000. The workers compensation here I'm taking as 10%. The HR benefit is 20% uh, and the union benefit I'm taking it as 25%. Uh, okay, so this was the input value. I will save it. Now I will try to launch the rule on headcount here. So, It was not launched. Maybe there is some problem into it. I will go to the rules. So the rule here named as a salary underscore headcount underscore test. Okay, so Ankita don't have the access uh, to write the rule here. So I will go to the admin mode. Here I will click on rules in the navigator. Then I will click on your rules and select my rule. Salary underscore headcount underscore test. So we can write the rule. Maybe uh, I will go to the layout here. So we have a salary planning here. So here we have the scenario as variance, uh, scenario named plan forecast, okay. Then our entity here is one thousand a one.
so after editing the rule let us check okay so basically uh, in the rule we didn't mention uh, we didn't fix the sandbox data that is why uh, it was not possible to run on it so here we can see that we got the value uh, as uh, the labor operating uh, expense is 50000 worker compensation is 5000 payroll taxes is uh, 7750 so we edited the form here okay now we will again go to the admin mode here and uh, in application i will go to overview then i will click on action and then here i will select manage sandbox so here we can see that uh, we have two uh, sandboxes named here as salary sample uh, which uh, the the version of which is what if and it, it is created by ankita as you can see that ankita is the creator of the form and she have added the value here and the last modified date is also visible to us okay so like for example uh, here in the the managed sandbox being an admin i can delete the sandbox from here i will show you how it works so after this i will click on okay After refreshing the uh, form here, we can see that there is no sandbox visible to us as I as the from manage sandbox I have deleted the uh, the sandbox name uh, sample sample salary. Okay, so this is how our sandboxes works. We can even um, after. Uh, for example, I'm creating another. Okay, I'm creating another sal uh, sample salary here. And I'm giving the value to it. Okay, um, after editing, I will save the changes that I have made. Now I will run the rule here. After that, uh, we are uh, like, for example, I'm satisfied with the uh, satisfied with the data uh, that I, that I have with me. So now I will click on action. Then I will click on sandbox. Then I will click on publish from here. Now I will click on OK. So this data will be visible to us now on the base data. Okay, so this is how sandboxes works. Uh, for any more queries, please feel free to ask. Thank you.